In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins, and we prepare ourselves now to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals, and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. 
his holy arm. Sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his race that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. With the Immaculate Conception of Mary, we celebrate the marvelous deeds of God, as we heard in the psalm even though you won't find explicit reference to this work of God in Scripture, the faithful have known and believed since the very first centuries of Christianity that God had done something different when he created Mary. We don't celebrate Mary's Immaculate Conception in the womb of her mother as a miracle, as something odd. Instead, we see it and we celebrate it as God bringing into creation a new creation, a new standard, a new beginning for humanity. The fathers of the church were very quick to pick up on Mary as the new Eve. 
Where Eve failed, Mary succeeded by a special grace from God. And what God succeeded in doing through Mary's Immaculate Conception is that he set the stage for the world's Savior to be born. In fact, that's one of the proofs we have as a reason to believe in Mary's Immaculate Conception. The fact that the Word of God became incarnate through her. There was only one Christ born, and he came into the world through her alone. Something about Mary was unique, more unique than any other woman before or since. And the angel Gabriel uh, says very clearly what it was that was unique. He says, Hail, full of grace. Of all women and men, she alone was full of grace. Emphasis on the word full. In Greek, the idea is that God's grace was freely and fully received by her. Not just in that moment when Gabriel came, but from the beginning, in her mother's womb, in her created being. The angel Gabriel declares to her and to us the nature of this woman. She is full of grace. Because there's nothing in her that obstructs God's grace. There is no stain of sin in her. And because she is so full of grace, she is the one who carries God himself in her womb and gives him to the world. Eve uh, could have been the one, perhaps, but she turned from God and let just enough sin into her to not be full of grace. God could still work through her, of course, and through Adam, but in a limited way, similar to us. But Eve, the mother of the living, from her, all of humanity became a carrier of that spiritual sickness that we call sin. But with Mary, but with Mary, God gave humanity a new start. Sin never took root in her heart, and so she could give birth to the sinless one, to Jesus the Savior. But you know, on the cross, in the Gospel of John, on the cross, Jesus says to his mother, Mother, behold your son meaning the beloved disciple standing beside Mary. And he says to the beloved disciple, Behold your mother. In that instance, Jesus says to that disciple and to each one of us, I want you to have a new start. I want you to have a fresh start. You are no longer to be children of sinful Eve. You are to be children of my mother, the sinless Mary. God desires us to be sinless, to be immaculate in heart and soul, to be holy and without blemish, as we heard. And what better way to accomplish that than by giving us his only son to be our Savior and Lord, and also the uniquely immaculate Mary to be the mother of us all. With the Immaculate Conception, we celebrate something new in the course of human history. A fragile and otherwise average human being kept free from sin. We celebrate a marvelous deed of God, done so that God's recreation of heaven and earth could begin. How blessed are we to hear Jesus say to us, Beloved, my disciples, behold your mother, full of grace, who will help you into a life of grace. And by the grace of faith now, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And let us pray. For believers everywhere who wait for the Lord's coming, that this Advent may help them to prepare, let us pray to the Lord. For all people who look forward to the celebration of Christmas, that Christ's words and values may find a place in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for nations where there is war, poverty, and human suffering, that their troubles may soon be dispelled by the grace of God, and also for our country for which this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who suffer from anxiety, for all who are sick in mind or body, that they may know the Lord's healing power, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are considering ordained or consecrated life, that they trust in Jesus and find joy in abandonment to his goodwill, let us pray to the Lord. And for all those who have fallen asleep and rest in the peace of Christ, may they awaken to the glory of God and all the angels and the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, we ask you to hear our prayers and as always to answer them according to your good will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin. So through her intercession, we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth. Are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us, grant us peace. And behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserved Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.